Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a beginner's guide to naval invasions. So let's get into it here. As you can see, I have a General Erwin von Witzelben set up in a naval base here. And I've created three provinces for which uh, his infantry here are going to attack. Uh, the first thing that you should note about amphibious assaults here is that uh, he, we can only do 10 at a time. And that is modified by the research that is right here, landing craft. So if you want a higher naval invasion capacity, you're going to have to research landing craft here, which if you are Germany you can get a bonus to the landing craft research by selecting, if I can find it here, uh, it should be Operation Westerubung. 100% research bonus um, transport models. Okay, so then what we can expect the AI to do is to defend the port province because all of our supply is going to go through the port. What we want to do is get bonuses to attacking the port so I've set up invasions on either side of the port so that we can put our men on either side and attack from both sides. Now if we encircle the port that's not really going to help us because the opponent's divisions in the port are still going to be supplied from the port. Um, so if you attack from two provinces at a time, you're going to get a bonus to your attack. So that's pretty much why this is set up here. And uh, just expect this port to be defended by a division if you're playing in an AI game. The other thing that we have to set up here is we need a navy. And we will need green naval superiority here in order for the naval invasion to proc. So you can see here that I've put the Navy on the Naval Invasion Support um, order. And where these kind of battle lines are drawn, you're going to need green C in those areas. What can help you get these green naval areas is you can micro your air into the areas uh, that you're having... Uh, less naval superiority and that'll help you get uh, enough naval superiority to actually do the invasion and I believe that you're gonna need somewhere around 60 or 70 percent uh, naval superiority in order for the naval invasion to proc someone can tell me in the description uh, the comments below uh, what the exact date is and then in terms of preparing this naval invasion, it looks like it's going to take 28 days and it actually consumes convoys there. So you're going to need convoys up here in the top in order to transport the troops uh, to the location where you need it to go. You can, one little trick is you can even put some Marines on naval invasion support. So if you are having problems getting enough naval superiority, uh, you could try throwing them in there as well. You can also put in uh, minesweepers as well uh, just to get that uh, naval superiority up to a point where uh, you can proc the naval invasion. What I would suggest doing in this situation where you're trying to cross the English Channel against the UK, what you need to do is probably prep the sea zone ahead of time, assuming that you're already at war with the UK. And this way you do damage to the enemy's navy. And that's going to force some of their navy back into harbor. And they, it will not count as uh, naval superiority because they're going to be damaged and they're going to be in port and they were damaged from aircraft and not from a head-to-head -head combat versus your uh, navy and that way it protects your navy you're reserving your navy just for the naval invasion so i think that that is a very important point 
Uh, now, once you're across here, uh, you want to really protect this naval base. Now, this is not the best naval base to attack. Probably a better one would be uh, Sussex. This is the Sussex province, but Portsmouth down here. So probably do the same thing in Portsmouth or Dover. Uh, because Dover has a naval base of 6. And uh, Portsmouth has a naval base of 10. So that's going to give you greater supply throughput. And basically if I had both of these ports, if you've seen my other videos, you're only going to get supply through the highest level of port. So if I did own both of these ports... Uh, we're gonna the the game is gonna default to putting all your supply through the naval base of 10 so getting two ports is not going to help you but getting a port with a higher level of naval base will help you quite a bit so that's basically it you want to make sure that you are attacking and moving very quickly so you want to do pauses often as soon as you get the port you want to follow up with a secondary army that is not on an amphibious landing battle plan, uh, but that is just ready to travel to the port. And typically I use uh, tank divisions and motorized divisions to do this. You don't want to put too many over there because it's going to ruin your supply. But you do want divisions that are going to be move, able to move quite quickly because this might be a surprise. And in the case of the UK, what typically happens is they start pulling troops from the Mediterranean back up to the home island. So you want to act quickly. You want to get over, take that port as fast as possible, then spread out through the country and gobble up as much territory as possible with London being a priority because there's a lot of military factories in London. You want to take their military factories away from them so that they can't support their troops. So that's basically it. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll see you on the next one.